from pythons actually living inside your walls to real life snakes on a plane. Here are 11 strange snake pictures explained. Damn nature, you scary. Number 11. Did you know there's a village in northern India where our society revolves around snakes? In fact, the more snakes a family owns, the higher their social status. One of the favorite reptiles in the village is this cobra, who appears to have a pattern on its hood in the shape of a smiley face. As far as we can tell, the pattern is genuine, not a digital effect. You can see the serpent being hypnotized by a flute-playing professional, as children are trained in the art of snake charming. A man in Texas, Eric Johnson, noticed an eastern indigo snake on the ground. When he approached the reptile, it struggled to get away. But when the snake realized it couldn't escape, it adopted a bizarre strategy. The snake suddenly stopped, contorted itself, and let its mouth gape open, as if it were dead. The reptile maintained the ruse while it was being examined by Mr. Johnson, but when he stepped away, the animal suddenly sprang back to life, so to speak, and started to slither away as if nothing happened. Wildlife experts say it's unlikely the snake was intentionally playing dead, claiming the odd behavior could be a result of illness or injury. A family in Missouri noticed a western rat snake near the chicken coop, which they kept on the property to catch rodents in the garden. An old doorknob had been painted white and placed in the coop. It was intended to encourage the hens to lay eggs. Instead, the snake was encouraged to eat the object, which it mistook for an egg. They found the six-foot animal sprawled on the ground with a huge bulbous shape in its midsection. X-rays later showed the doorknob lodged in the snake's body. It was immediately taken to the veterinarian, where the foreign object was removed. The snake needed a few months to recover from the six-inch incision, but he was later released back onto the family's property to continue catching rats. He's since been nicknamed Doorknob. It seems a big Burmese python in Florida had an even bigger taste for venison. Wildlife officials there say the huge reptile ate three deer, but it didn't eat all three in one go. It's more likely the deer were eaten over a 90-day period and were aged between two weeks old and a year. The female python was nearly 16 feet long and weighed around 105 pounds. Experts think the animal was hiding in water when it ambushed its victims when they came to drink. Hooves and other remains of two fawns and a doe were found upon examination of the python after it was euthanized. The snakes are known to have eaten many small to medium-sized animals across the Everglades. Burmese pythons are native to Southeast Asia, but are an introduced species in Florida. Wildlife experts say it's unknown how many are out there. Life imitated art when an incident of snakes on a plane actually occurred. Video taken with a mobile phone shows a venomous five-foot-long green viper dropping from an overhead baggage compartment and dangling overhead. Passengers aboard the flight to Mexico City jumped out of their seats when they spotted the reptile. It wasn't known exactly how the snake managed to escape containment. The flight was given priority landing, and animal control experts dealt with the creature. Aside from some snake-induced stress, the passengers were unaffected. Photos surfaced recently of a snake thought to measure around six feet that died when it became stuck in the iron bars of a fence. It happened in Nigeria, and pictures shared on Facebook went viral. The images show the reptile is so swollen that it couldn't squeeze through the opening. The photographer found the animal near his work site and didn't know the reptile was dead at first. He called over some co-workers to help inspect the carcass. When the non-venomous constrictor was cut open, the cause of its swollenness was revealed. The reptile had consumed a a large dog shortly before trying to squeeze through the fence. The body of the gluttonous reptile was later banned. The rodent and the reptile. Normally, squirrels have a diet that consists of nuts and seeds, but if they get hungry enough, some of them can turn carnivorous. Such was the case recently in Africa. A squirrel was hungry enough to add snake meat to its diet, which led to a showdown between the rodent and the reptile. The fight was caught on video and displays the squirrel biting at the tail of the snake. The two creatures struck and bit at one another. The squirrel managed to leave bloody gashes on the reptile's head, which caused the snake to respond by wrapping its its body around its attacker and attempt to suffocate it. But the rodent managed to wrestle free and the snake became its meal. 
Golfers at a Queensland course witnessed a different type of game recently. A python measuring some four meters slithered its way onto the grounds where it consumed an entire wallaby. The stunned onlookers watched the struggle between the reptile and the marsupial that lasted for around half an hour. After the snake devoured the wallaby, it slithered back into the bush apparently to digest its meal. Once the big snake had cleared out, the golfers finally had a chance to finish that 17th hole. Video shows a giant snake actually crashing through the ceiling tiles of an establishment, leaving the customers in shock. Restaurant staff is seen trying to pull the beast down with a metal hook. While the exact location isn't made clear, several people can be heard speaking Cantonese, suggesting the restaurant might be in Hong Kong. The length of the animal is estimated at 20 feet. Workers first used the pole to make the hole in the ceiling bigger so the reptile could be guided out. They were later seen using the hands to pull the monster snake to the ground. We couldn't make a positive ID on what type of snake this is. A carpet python was found occupying a home in Queensland where it was actually living inside a wall. The homeowners had no clue the reptile was there until smoke started coming out of an electrical socket. A fellow named Richie Gilbert, who runs an outfit that specializes in catching wayward snakes, managed to extract the python after a struggle lasting an hour or so. You can see Mr. Gilbert's photos that document the operation. He said two holes had to be punched in the wall since the animal wouldn't move out of just one. Shortly after its release, Least, the snake bit Mr. Gilbert on the hand. But while they can grow to around 10 feet or so, carpet pythons are non-venomous. The reptile was later taken to the Australia Zoo for treatment of electric bands. A deadly snouted cobra was discovered slithering out of a toilet in Pretoria, South Africa, just as the flat owner was about to use it. After the man tried unsuccessfully to remove it by himself, he sensibly called a snake catcher. That chap, Barry Greenshields, had a go with the venomous reptile as well, as video was shot to document his efforts. But the animal was so strong that it managed to slip away and slither down the toilet pipes, all of which left Mr. Greenshields with the unenviable task of visiting every single apartment in the building in an effort to find the fugitive cobra. Because it's in the pipe system, the animal could potentially wriggle its way into any toilet there, so residents are being advised to keep the toilet lids closed to prevent it from slithering further into the homes. Snouted cobras can grow over eight feet long, and if untreated, their bite is venomous enough to result in death.